Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Wild Collector as we're in Molten Core. Uh, it'll be a bit of a fast video today. We started the day at 53.16% of the way done. Um, we're going to skip ahead to a couple bosses here. First boss is Lucephron, uh, Mana Storm Leggings, and Scenarian Bootstrap. So no Hunter Drops there. Um, the next boss is Magmadar. Again, I did get the Giant Stalker Leggings here. Which was kind of nice. Um, Eskander's Left Claw dropped again. And Flame Guard Gauntlets. They're uh, plate gloves. And of course another Blazing Rune. Those drop a lot. Um, now we haven't really. We did get the Giant Stalker Leggings from here though. So that did help. It brought our percentage up. Just about 0.7%. Which is kind of nice. Moving ahead here to the next fight is Gahanas. Um, nothing for our Hunter. We get the Heavy Dark Iron Ring, Arcanist Bindings, which are Mage uh, Bracers, I believe, and Gloves of Prophecy, which are the Priest Bracers. Oh, the Bindings are Belts, my apologies. Arcanist Bindings are the Mage Belt. A um, couple of random pauses in my run through this one. Uh, moving up on Gar, that's the fourth boss. We get the Night Slayer cover, which is the Rogue Helmet, the Helm of Might again for the Warrior, and a Quick Strike Ring. After this fifth run, we're going to really walk through each boss for run number six and kind of have a better idea of, hey, I've run this boss this many times. Here's what's dropped for my hunter. Um, it'll be a lot easier to compare things once I have uh, more classes unlocked. Um, just slowly leveling them. I need to get some pets to level 25. Then I can work on my paladin. Next up is Baron Geddon. Not much here. Quick Strike Ring again. Second one this run. And a Talisman of a talisman of Ephemeral Power. Whew, that was rough. Sorry. Um, over the distance is Shazra. I'm going to go ahead and loot him in a second here. He drops a Boots of Prophecy. So the second Priest drop we've had. And he does drop the Giant Stalker's Gloves. Um, let's see if that... Uh, I think I've already had those though. I haven't seen them drop from him, so maybe that is the first drop. Let's see. Yeah, excellent. So yeah, I did get the Giant Stalker's gloves from him, so that was kind of nice. So I did get two Giant Stalker pieces so far. Pretty decent run in all honesty. Uh, we're sitting at 55.69%. Um, I have a few more things to get. We're at Golemag. He does drop the Giant Stalker's breastplate, so that's the third Giant Stalker's piece this run. We're at 55.69%, brought us to 56.96, almost at 57% for the run. Um, what's also going to help is some of the pieces that I need drop from multiple bosses. They're the non-class set pieces. Those will help that percentage a lot. Like if you look at a, like Thunderstrike or Shadow Strike, those things come from different bosses at times, Core Hound Tooth, etc. Um, so we're going to see a few more things once I unlock some of those. Sulfurin dropped the Heavy Dark Iron Ring and the Crimson Shocker, which is a, a wand. Uh, next up, we're at Executus. Ooh, man. That last video I shot is really uh, making it difficult. Um, he does drop something here, though. So let's see. He drops the Cord Hound Tooth, which is on that loot list. I think he might be the only person who drops it though. So we're at 56.96% before that. And once we open this, or loot this dark iron ore and wait for that treasure chest to proc, we'll see what we get. We're getting close, man. That's almost three-fifths of all the gear from this raid. It's kind of nice. Brought us to 5822 So what that tells me is a couple other bosses did have the Core Hound Tooth. So now let's head over to Ragnaros. I wish it only took the 35 seconds it does to edit this video to <laughs> get to him. But that's kind of the one drawback of this raid. It takes a while to get there. Um, Ragnaros dropped Dragon Blood, Dragon's Blood Cape. Excuse me. So we got the Dragon's Blood Cape, which was a back, Netherwind Pants for the Mage, Onslaught Girdle for Plate, which is a belt, Leggings of Transcendence for the Priest, 
and three BOEs that we already had. Also, Judgment Leg Plates. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please feel free to subscribe, and happy collecting. Thanks all.